The dog separate hut. The front porch is for dogs also, but the the big dog has a separate hut because he likes to be outdoors. Only whenever it's so cold, I have to drag him, really drag him in, and threaten him. You go in now or not? Oh, else or oh, whatever. No more bones. No more uh, snakes. Nothing. Come now, now, and then he he and I struggle for supremacy, you know. <laughs> he thinks I'm small, easy to handle, but I drag him, <laughs> drag him in, and then I close the door from inside. Then he couldn't get out, uh, but he liked to be outside. Very conscientious of his, uh, very uh, conscious of his duty as a guard dog. Even when it rains, when he hears something, he jumps out and it's all wet through, and then it's I who had to work again, clean him, dry him. <sighs> and then he went always uh, look, looking in the bush, you know. Lucky we don't have many bushes. <laughs> and then come back like a flower, you know. <laughs> oh, but these are pretty thorns, very little ones, but they stick everywhere. The whole body is dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Truly, you know, thick, and I have to work again. He got me, but I am working like <laughs> like his secretary. Oh, picking everything out. Ah, <sighs> my God. Yeah, yeah. Talking about unconditional love, yeah. People say uh, dogs teach you unconditional love, correct? Yeah, they teach you how to love unconditionally <laughs> and work unconditionally, yeah. He eats my food, he sleeps on my bed, whenever he likes, he just jumps up and says, hey, 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 it's mine, it's too late. Paw, paw, paw all over. You know, muddy paw prints it on my seat. Ah. And then I say, okay, okay, then stay in bed. I go to the phone, I stay at the porch, and I stay on one of the little sofas. It's not really a sofa, it's those organizing boxes, uh, wooden, you know, flat. And if you put like, two rows, you know, six of them or eight of them, and then you put a mattress on and then it's a sofa, and inside I put things, yeah? Otherwise I have no room. So I sat on that. And later he was fed up with my bed somehow. He came pacing up and down, up and down. I said, what do you want? And he looked at my couch. <laughs> and then I, I <laughs> he, he was waiting, and then when I came in, you know, uh, picking something up, la, up on my couch, and then it's paw again everywhere. And <laughs> I have to clean my bed, you know, wipe it or change it. Yeah, yeah. Unconditional love, indeed. Yeah. He just got the house with not, no need to guard at all, but he makes himself the guardian of the place. Before he came, uh, I went away, locked the house, <laughs> yeah, no problem. But now he, he, he feels like he's guarding it. And then I have to do the rest of the work, a lot, a lot of work. <laughs> all he has to do is just walk in all around, and then I had to do a lot, a lot of work. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> I cannot keep calling the assistants because sometimes it's late at night, you know? I let them sleep. Or oh, even in the day, I cannot keep calling them, you know, so I do it myself. Mm. But I'm so happy today because the both places are fixed. It's so simple, just span a canvas on top of the whole thing, <laughs> and then there's no more leaking, see what I mean? The, the rain just comes down. Even there's a gap between, but it doesn't come in. Yeah, so simple. Same with the dog's roof, the dog's hut, simple. Ten minutes done, and they haven't done this all these years. So many brains make light work, but over here is uh, <laughs> make heavy work. <laughs> As they say, if you want to do something well, you have to do it yourself, right? But just a leaking roof, my God! <sighs> it's not like something very difficult. Hmm? And we are expanding uh, canvas and plastic roof everywhere, so they should know it. At least to, to protect it until I come back. And if I like it or not, I can always say, hey, it's not good, I don't like it. No. It kept leaking all the time, all this time, all my clothes. I came back, I had to wash everything and wipe everything. Ah, so moldy inside. Well, you know it because you have children at home, right? Nothing new, right? Huh? Is it familiar to you? 
<laughs> ah, no wonder you just keep quiet. Eh? You did not even smile, you did even, not even pull your face, no, no surprise, nothing. Just blank. <laughs> and inside thinking, what's the big deal? We knew all this. <laughs> How come Master just discover now? <laughs> she could have asked us, and we told, we would have told her long ago. <laughs> I'm telling you, everybody came. In. A lot of people came into my life, into my ashram, into my surroundings, just to be uh, the general, uh, major, like in the army, then dictating everybody else what to do, or even sometimes dictate me because of habit, you know, dictating everybody already, and when nobody else is around, they, they dictate to me. Oh, thank you so much. Ay, 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 I'm telling you. Hmm. So where were we before? Can anybody remember? No? You prayed to Anand, maybe you could remember something? All right. I think we were at the uh, 33, uh, 33 uh, divisions, huh? and the... Uh, the pinnacle from the girl named Goodness. Yeah, she's so smart. Okay, so now they divide the hall into three parts anyway. One chamber for the kings, another for the poor, and another for the sick. Yeah, all right. So they treat the kings, the poor, and the sick the same. <laughs> no, they're not in the same place, but divide it, you know. Having equal uh, uh, provision of the lodging there. Yeah. Then the 33 youths built 33 seats. Oh, just one more. Oh, God. I forgot. I have to tell. In one moment, okay? I told already, but I forgot to tell him to pick the dogs uh, because it's all over his body, like a blooming flower in springtime, all over his body. I thought he he's not a white dog. He, he is like a... You know, one uh, with the spots. Uh, what's, it? what's the name of that? Forgot. Donation. Oh, God. Then the 33 youths built 33 seats, and having so done, gave the following orders to the elephant. Oh, they're giving orders to the elephant. If a visitor comes and sits down in a seat, take him and lodge him in the house of whoever builds and owns that seat. Mm. It then becomes the duty of the owner of that seat to see that his guests' feet and back are rubbed. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, I like to go there. (laughs) You know, massage, yeah. Uh, To provide him with food, both hard and soft, and with lodging to perform for him, in fact, all the duties of hospitality. Wow. Wow, nobody treats me thus. I'm going to complain very soon. (laughs) Ah. Wow. (laughs) How can... How can they make the orders like this to the elephant? And the elephant... You know, probably will carry it out. Wow. Do you have an elephant like that at home? No. <laughs> All right. Oh, I guess it's just the, you know, a long, long, long time ago, elephant. You know, they still drank clear and pure water from the stream, uh, stream or from the, uh, from the lake. You know, it's not contaminating water like now, and they're not dosing him, them with a lot of... Uh, what do you say, antibiotics or whatever, yeah? And I didn't even try to feed him with the uh, GMO food and make him all confused, no? Huh? So the, uh, the elephant probably understood everything that we say. Or they, they can, maybe they can communicate with the elephant at that time, telepathically or something, or train him day in, day out. Accordingly, Whenever a visitor came, the elephant would take him to the elephant. Only one elephant there. Ah, the elephant that the king gave to them, remember? Yeah. So uh, the elephant 
would take him and conduct him to the house of the owner of the seat in which he had sat, and the owner of the seat would on that day perform for him all the duties of hospitality. Wow. Owner of the seat. Yeah. Uh huh. So the 33 youths are taking turn, you know, whenever it came to them, they went and massaged the customer, <laughs> the guest. Maha planted an ebony tree. Oh, I have kind of idea, but I never, probably I haven't seen one. Or maybe I've seen one, but I didn't know that was ebony in English. Ebony or ebony? Ebony. Ebony. Ebony tree near the hall and built a stone seat at the foot of the eb ebony tree. All those who entered the hall looked at the pinnacle, read the inscription, and said, This is the hall of goodness. Oh, her name. We mentioned again and again and again. The names of the 33 youths did not appear. Joy thought to herself, the youths who built this hall resolved to deprive us of a share in the building thereof. But goodness, by her own cleverness, obtained a share. I also ought to do something. But what can I do? Joy, you know, one of the gods, thinking to herself thus. Mm. Thereupon the, follow the following thought occurred to her. Those who come to the hall should be provided with water for drinking and water for bathing. I will have a place dug for a pool, swimming pool. Accordingly, Joy caused a bathing pool to be built. Thoughtful, thought to herself, uh, the, the third girl, goodness has given a pinnacle and Joy has caused a bathing pool to be built. Now, what am I to do? Thereupon the following thought occurred to her. After those who came to the hall have drunk water and bathed, they should be decked with gallons, and they and when they are ready, when they are ready to depart. Yeah, well, I will cause a flower garden to be let out. You know, to pluck the flowers, make the gallons to. Uh, yeah, put on the neck of the people. Thoughtful caused a beautiful flower garden to be let out. So many and so various were the flowers that grew therein that it was impossible for anyone to say, such and such a flower-bearing or fruit-bearing tree does not grow in this garden. Means she has everything collected in that garden. All the plants and flowers, rare, precious, she collect them all and put them there, planted them there. Now, well born, the fourth girl thought to herself, I am the daughter of the brother of the mother of Maha, and likewise the wife of Maha. The daughter of the brother of the mother of Maha, <laughs> and likewise the wife of Maha. Cousin, right? So they probably marry a cousin in those days? The merit of the work he has brought accrues to me only, and the merit of the work I have wrought. Sound like rotten, no, rot. Like wrought iron, kind of, yeah. Uh, I have wrought accrues to him only. She's not the wife of him yet, but she was thinking she might be the wife of him. Accordingly, she did nothing but spend her time adorning herself, making herself beautiful. Man, dreaming, huh? <laughs> A lot of people are like that, you know? Don't want to sit, don't want to meditate, don't want to even keep the precepts, don't want to eat vegetarian and vegan, but don't want to be a Buddha, ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> so if you think this girl, What's a crazy dreamer? Ah, yeah, maybe she's not that crazy. Hmm? Thus did Maha minister to his mother and father, honor his elders in the household. Well, yes, yes, but okay, never mind. Mm, speak 
the truth, avoid harsh words, avoid backbiting, put away avarice, or avarice, huh? Uh, I guess hatred stuff, and not become angry. Thus, even thus did he fulfill the seven precepts, as it is said. If a man support his mother and father, if he honor his elders in the household, if he be gentle and friendly in conversation, if he avoid backbiting, if he steadfastly put away avarice. If he be truthful, if he conquer anger, such a man, the gods of the thirty-three, call a good man. Oh, why <laughs> does does it need uh, thirty-three gods or the Shaka god to call him a good man? Okay, we can also call him good man, right? Can we? Yeah, so simple. Always drag the god into it. <laughs> we humans can take care of this <laughs> small thing. Actually, not really, huh? Not really. It's true that sometimes the gods and the animals recognize goodness in some humans, but the humans themselves do not. <laughs> 